Hi, this is Gajanand from Tech Rudranshi and today we will see countdown. So let's see a quick demo and understand. So this is the uh, example uh, to understand countdown. So let's change the date 2019 to 2020. So it will show something like that. One year, 219 days, uh, 8 hours and 0 minutes and 38 seconds. Something like that right so this this is very very useful and we will build these things uh, today so this is six years to 219 days uh, two hours right so let's replace it 2019 it again so it says zero hours 218 days 14 hours 00, zero minutes and 17 seconds so these things we will do using countdown.js and i will give you a link in a video description so you can come here and get this plugin right so let's close this uh, project and create a new one so you can understand what I'm teaching you so let's next project uh, uh, new project and PHP application next and here is our project name I am giving text test countdown and finish it after finishing it will so it will give automatically index.php file and here are the HTML code so let's re remove PHP tag it here and here we will type our HTML so first is a div and its class is a container and inside I'm putting it a h2 tag heading level 2 and I'm putting heading next event will begin in and here will be our countdown date uh, year year uh, year hour minute second something like that inside a countdown ID so so we need a uh, this plugin uh, which is countdown uh, so let's uh, click on example or oh, sorry just go back uh, click on SRC source and here is the countdown.js this file we need so let's click on this one and go to a raw and uh, you need to download this code let's right click and save us you can save and let's open this file and let's copy this one and include inside our project so let's copy go to our project uh, and paste it here so I want to show you inside a ST doc as, as well let's go to ST doc and here is my project which is the test countdown and here is the countdown.js so let's include this one inside my html page so uh, src is countdown.js and its type is text javascript so it requires a j jquery so we need to include jquery as well so let's open uh, jquery cdn inside google and let's click on first link and then i will also give you a link in the video description as uh, here Right, so let's copy this link of CDN, copy and paste it here. Let's remove some unnecessary codes. Uh, it's also important, but we are not including it here. Uh, and uh, here is my own jQuery and JavaScript code I will put inside. Yes. So let's uh, countdown ID. This is the ID selector, and let's call the method of the countdown. And here we will pass some properties. Uh, Okay, let's type uh, uh, again. This is the ID selector dot countdown, and uh, uh, let's uh, uh, let's put some properties. It's a date, so it will this type June, July, June, something like August, September, December. This from uh, this in this format, you need to put a date of of event, so it will show uh, right uh, countdown, right date, time, and minute second something like this. let's run this so now it's not showing anything because it has some problems you don't need to worry about this if you have some problems like that like that don't worry about that just go uh, to your uh, github page where we have a downloaded countdown.js so let's go back and let's go back and let's go back and one more time just go back and the, here is the also uh, this URL you need to come I will also give you a link in the video description right so you need to right click uh, you need to right click this is the official side of the countdown right so right click with the page source just scroll down scroll down and here is the countdown uh, jquery countdown.js so let's copy this and 
and replace to our countdown.js just copy and paste it here and let's refresh refresh you, your uh, countdown will start like this 0 years 218 days 13 hours 53 minutes and 31 seconds so we will separate right we will separate uh, uh, this uh, uh, hour minute year second something like that uh, this date we will separate right so let's render uh, render property and it's a return a function so element so this dot element and just put it empty means we are uh, rendering inside a div right uh, year minute second uh, hour everything we are putting inside a div because we need to style our uh, countdown uh, custom style so this is the this is for year and let's copy this one and paste uh, this is for days and, uh, and this for days and this is for uh, uh, hours and this is hours and let's copy and paste so some more times this is a minute to do and second second minute this is for minute right and let's refresh so all the elements is separated by the dues right in a new line so we need to style right like this so what we do that uh, let's create uh, let's create on a style uh, CSS file so I'm giving a uh, style.css so let's remove the comment and go to index.php and let's include that style.css file so let's drag and drop it here and you can type manually it here and here we will write a code to style our countdown so first uh, we are body its a background is a red color it's look cool and next thing is the container we want to a center max width is 700 pixels and its margin is 0 pixel auto it means your countdown will be in a center right so this is the countdown id and inside we have a du and it's a float is left so all uh, elements is in a row so padding is 25 pixels uh, top and bottom and left and right is 40 pixel background is 333 red brown um, okay font weight is bold color is white okay you can see transform is a skew x and it's minus 25 uh, degree and uh, border top is one pix uh, two pixel solid and color is white color and border bottom is same two pixel solid and white color and font size is 10 20 pixel and refresh uh, it has uh, some problem okay don't worry about that just put it one more uh, end child right end child odd and background is green odd and even and you can see so problem is I put it DEG degree and you can see okay cool that's a nice and perfect look of our countdown so today we have a seen how we can make a countdown um, and if you have any questions and doubt you can write a comment and and if you like please subscribe my channel right so let's see uh, some Bye, take care.